All right, bit of an unusual stream here tonight. We kind of got a different, couple different things that we are pretty close to finishing. That's right, Parker. That's right, boys. Um, so we'll probably be finishing uh, Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon. I'm pretty sure I can finish the final dungeon here. Um, like any Mystery Dungeon game, there is like probably at least three to five like extra dungeons after that. Um, but I'm just gonna finish up the main storyline and then we'll move on to Manifold Garden. Hopefully we can finish that. I have no idea how long it is, honestly. Um, I don't know if we are at like the last segment or if there's like a whole like extra thing after what we've got to, but uh, we'll just have to see. Um, and if, um, if Manifold Garden and everything turns out to be pretty short, we will move on to something spooky, probably the Sandman. Um, I have that ready, so that's right, Parker. By the way, Parker, <laughs> please. Um, shout out to Rad on Twitter. I um, I posted the this is art by her the the spider tap tap as I like to call it. Sir tap 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 with the eight taps, Parker, please. I'm doing things. Um, um, you can find that. I retweeted that and I found it. Um, or I posted a... I always do little fan art posts on my website. In fact, I'm I'm one fan art behind. So um, I'll probably have that out. I'll try to have that out tomorrow or at least early next week. So, on to video games. Parker. Call me... Oops. There we go. So... I should be in pretty great shape for this. Um, this mini Cactar is not as useful as I thought, though. Certain bosses are immune to its ability, but look at my gear here. So I got Irma Talons maxed out. Um, I don't have the final hone on it, but I don't know if I want to try for that right now. I've got Genji's, uh, Genji's Saddles, and I've got a Ribbon Collar that prevents most status effects. It does not block slow or stun. Is that all? It blocks most things. And I got my Dragoon maxed out. I'm not sure if I'll go with Dragoon or not. It shouldn't be too bad, but... <laughs> you go into a final boss thinking it's not too bad. That's that's usually not gonna go end well for you. So we'd be a little bit cautious. Definitely gonna get... How's that audio balance looking? Maybe a little down. That should be all right. How is everybody? Um, I just been having a good day, relaxing. It's it was an annoying week for stupid reasons, and uh, I'm I'm glad it's over. I guess. Should we? The problem with maxing things out in video games like this is like now that I've maxed Dragoon, I never want to use Dragoon again until I max everything else out. But that would take a while. Um, Freelancer is pretty good though, Parker. I'm doing stuff. Honey. Honey. I think I might go with Freelancer just because Freelancer gets haste. Parker butt. What are you doing now? Stop that. Parker is very in an interrupting mood today, I guess. Ah, uh, who to bring? Parker, stop. Um. The scarecrow freaking creeps me out and I hate it. Um. Oh, hey, we got Irma, by the way. P possibly spoilers? She's not really... <laughs> she hasn't really been relevant in the story, so I'm not really sure it's spoilers or not, but... Darker butt, stop. Stop doing the thing. Um... I don't know who to bring. I was so excited for Mini Cactar, but he doesn't... He's got 1,000 needles. But it doesn't work on uh, certain bosses. I tried him on Bahamut, and it just does no damage. Super, super rude. Uh, let's go with the classic. Will the big healing never hurt? Unless you're undead. So let's go with uh, Sharoma. I think Satan is still asleep. One thing that's weird about this game, wait. Oops. I did a, <laughs> I did a stupid 
But no, see, look how powerful I am in the early um, parts of this dungeon. Um, I don't want to hit KO everything like later in, but I'm in really good shape. This is not what I meant to do. I gotta go down to the floor 41. Hey, Rosen. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty confident that we can uh, wrap this up tonight. There is a whole bunch of post game stuff, like I alluded to earlier. Um, I <laughs> I have so much stuff on my plate at all times. I'm not sure how far I'm going to dive into that, but I've been really enjoying this, so I, I might spoil myself. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I've been kind of thinking of just, like, making a thing on stream to just finish up games that I've, like, been enjoying but haven't finished up. Because there's a lot of that, and whenever I do a stream, I, you know, play very actively because, you know, that's what I'm doing. Whereas if I'm just, like, playing around, I might just, like... Within four hours, I play, like, half an hour <laughs> of the game, and I, like, you know, mess around on YouTube and stuff. All right, dang. We're still in really good shape, actually. <gasps> there it is! Oh, my inventory is still full. Uh, that's fine. Earth Saddle. So, um, cool thing in this game, um, you can, if you put all six brands for every element except for Holy and Dark, on one thing, they turn into a super brand that has the effects of all six in a single slot. So, and it also unlocks a um, dungeon, apparently. Thanks to Satan in the Discord for that. I don't know if they'll show up in the stream or not. We're taking a nap, I guess. Um, I can sympathize with that. I took a very good long sleep today. Yeah, I have Irma's shoes on. It's kind of sucks that- I wish there was, like, camera options. I, like, want to zoom in and see my gear stuff. And, um, check out my costumes, too. Because, like, there's some really cute costumes. You can get, like, the, um, the black mage- or the white mage and stuff. I have a- I have the white mage plushie anyway, though, so, um, I'm good on that one. But, I don't know, just let me zoom in and stuff. I mean, it's 3D, so why not? I think it's made out of brass now, apparently. Yeah, bro. So I'm actually doing even better than I thought I would this early down. Um, my gear is way better than I should really have. Um, you can, obviously, get it early. Um, I got this stuff from the Scarecrow Dungeon called Insatiable Hunger. Um, first it's a 50 floor thing with no breaks. Then after you beat that, it turns into a much harder dungeon that is infinite in size, and it drops basically the best stuff in the game. Oh yeah, and this is max hone, but you can actually hone once past the max hone, but it is a chance of failure, and um, it gets you plus five if it works. I think it's like night minus five if it doesn't work. I might save scum and try it later or something. But I, I don't need it and I don't really want to mess with it right now. Hey, King Malibu! Oh, bro. Cool. That's a new uh, buddy. Somewhere in here there must be the last demon. That's almost the only regular buddy that I'm missing. What is this? <laughs> Three pages of X potions. Well, two and a little extra. I should be good. Hello, friend. Oh, and I didn't even truly need this. I didn't put this on purpose exactly, but I d I ran out of useful brands on my uh, saddle because I have a ribbon collar. So I just removed some, and I got this um, stealth thing that prevents you from waking up enemies until you hit them, of course. Um, it has actually been super useful. You deal a lot more damage to an enemy when you attack them while they're asleep. And that's probably why I'm doing all of these one-hit KOs. Ooh. I'll take that. And my attack stat is probably like... 30 to 40 above what it should be at this point. So this should be pretty easy, actually. And the Black Blade Chocobo is pretty cute, too. <laughs> White Mage is my favorite, though. Probably. 
At least looks wise. I don't use it too much. I'm a big fan of this one because look what I can do. Choco Meteor is back. Love it. But also I got experience plus on these claws. It's so nice. Especially since I OHKO these things that have a lot of experience actually. I should be able to max out my level without crazy much trouble. Maybe. I don't really know what the next dungeons- oops. Oh, that doesn't matter, I can't be poisoned. I can just eat all of the bad greens, it doesn't matter. Yep, this is the default job. Freelancer is actually really good. The stats aren't super interesting, but I mean, let's look at what you get. I don't even have it maxed out yet. Level 8 is the max. Um, you get haste, insanely good. Um, Chocomet, very strong. Um, Dig is a free item once per floor, I don't need that right now. Uh, the first level's not too great. All-around attack is nice for when you get stuck. Like in monster rooms and stuff. So, so. <laughs> Holy sh- I did- Because I missed, I didn't wake him up. That's incredible. Wow. Oh wow, it's still- Still a one to hit knockout, even when you- I like... Not these things, though. These things suck. I really like how Sherman looks in this one, Sharoma, but old Sid looks weird. He's like extra thick. It doesn't look... I don't know, it looks kind of odd. Old Bahamut looks fine though. Also, there's dark elementals here. Is there actually dark gear? My Discord just like died. Stream still looks fine though. Yeah, I've been gaining levels like mad since I put on these. No one cared who I was until I put on the talons. Oh hey, that's one of the last very few enemies I need more buddy points from. I'm gonna have to grind that for a bit. Ooh, a haste drink. Just waste one of these. The music is red. Yeah, I don't know which track this is. I wanna say f something from five or six. Yeah, Final Fantasy music is fantastic, and uh, a lot of the side games make very good use of um, music from various Final Fantasies. World of Final Fantasy is also great for that. There's also, even cooler, there is a uh, jukebox in this game that um, not only can you play the songs, it tells you which game the songs are originally from. It is really cool. Because even though I have played all of these, I don't recognize all of them. I recognize... The ones from my favorite games, usually. But, uh, it's still a really cool feature. I am think I'm gonna poke around to see if I can get... How much more... Demon... Not demon, scissors. 11 BP. 11 BP. Yeah, this is really nice. I wish more, like, crossover stuff. I guess most series don't even have crossovers and stuff, but... She's a lot weaker than me, huh? What are your stats? Oh, she only gets half of the bonus. That's weird. What determines how much of their bonus? Because you do you do share some of your stats from the talons with your buddies. But um she's only getting she's not getting all of it. I think that's just how it works though. I don't think that's specific to Shir to Shiroma. Cause I noticed that with my uh coral. Quirrells are really nice because they attack twice. Uh, is Discord dead? Or do I need to restart? I, I don't need it too much. But I was going to at somebody when I was done here. Uh, it seems to be toast. I kind of miss just being able to use dig talons and like just dig through all of the walls. Oh hey, that's uh, the last demon that we just found. I think I need a little bit more buddy points for it though. Tempting, but no, I, I better not. Because I've been told it could be something really bad. Actually, you know what, nah. I've been stomping through everything, so... Oh, it's a shop. Oh well. Maybe it'll have the, um, the elemental talents I need. 
She's that buddy because she's good because you like her a bit of both. A uh, bit of both. She uh, has a really good cure, so you don't really need to worry about using your potions. And I hate using consumable items, which is a terrible quirk to have for a game like this. Because that's really what you do. But I, I just like having to, you know, being able to do that. If your if your uh, job doesn't have any sort of natural healing, she's a very good option to have. She just doesn't do as much damage as some others. Oh, there they are! Oh, I can't hold them. Uh, keep the Earth Saddle. Uh, Titanium Balance. Huh. Oh, hey, those don't rust either. Yeah, the, the not rusting thing is kind of like a curve. Like, early claws can rust. Um, through pretty much all of mid-game, rust is not a factor. And then once you get the very best talons, you kind of have to deal with rust again. It's, a, it's an interesting way to handle the difficulty curve. Alright, so I have four of the elements. I just need two more. I think both of them are, in fact, in post-game dungeons. Oh, there's Discord. Discord came back. PMDO is bringing about five orange berries and revival seeds that she's to heal by walking around. Yeah, it's the same here, pretty much. I, I get better at it when I'm like, all right, you know what? I find like 50 of these stupid X potions. Uh, it doesn't matter to me, but like rarer items, though honestly, even th this game's fairly generous and like rarer items, you can just get more of them. I I'm not as crazy about it in this game as I am in say, the Tales series, I can be really miserly. Especially with like lemon drops and stuff, lemon gels. Early game, I will just refuse to use those no matter what. Moru! What, Parker? Hello? <laughs> Walk up to things and just obliterate their existence. Not these, though. Hey, Zines. See, this actually should be easier than I even thought. In fact, I'm gonna go to that shop trap. Hopefully it's a dual trap, actually. That, yes! Hello! In fact, I, I so don't need X potions, I'm just gonna drink this just for the um, stuff. For the fullness. That's one of the things you gotta learn to get used to in uh, Mystery Dungeon games. You can't carry everything, but sometimes you can get just a little tiny boost from items that you can't carry along, so may as well use them. Drop buddy points. Oh, come on! Right, I made Dilly Dally just a little bit. I need a BP for demons. Because this floor has multiple things I need to get buddy points for them. So is this the last level? Uh, the last level of the story. There are several more dungeons as there always are in mystery dungeon games. In fact, in Azuna, Legend of the Unemployed Ninja, I think there was like eight post-game dungeons. Which even for a mystery dungeon game is a lot. Like, the majority of Azuna 2 is post-game. Like, you're really just unlocking the real game. It just turns out the real game is really freaking hard. But actually, kind of, I really appreciate that, because as, as Tiny Babu, I like to be able to say that I beat the game. And it's nice to be able to dive deeper if you want to, but it's a good way to handle the difficulty of a Mystery Dungeon game, because... You can be just, like, severely ball-crushingly hard, and they always are to some degree. But, uh, I like when that's kind of locked away as post-game stuff. Just so I can feel like a big boy and say that I beat it. Buddy points, please. I mean, I've gotten pretty far in these. I don't always just bail immediately. But, um, I definitely recall that I did not beat everything in Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon 2 on, uh, PS1. Alright, there's the scissors. Oh, uh, not the dark elemental. Oh, by the way, I keep forgetting to heal. I've gotten knocked out like three or four times with Shurma just because I forgot to heal. Yeah, there's two whole elemental things you can't even get to yet. So, I mean, there's tons of stuff after you beat the boss. I think there might even be some exclusive buddies and stuff after, because I'm still missing some people. I can get Volg, he's just really hard, and I didn't really want to brave his dungeon quite yet. 
Um, and Bahamut's was even worse, actually. I feel a strange presence. Okay, that means it is time to leave now. Most mystery dungeon games will have that. Aw, oh, man. Three more for demons. Three more. Alright, whatever. It's not a big deal. Oh, shop. Still playing my games had quite annoying post games. Like as explorers, I had ages getting the pressure to find a certain unknown letter each attempt before reaching a specific level. Oh, that's really annoying. I mean, that is usually the thing. There's usually something. Oh, is there anything more worthless than a, um, alchemy shop? These used to just be, like, furnaces you could make your own stuff at. Um, they were just all over the place in Joker Wasn't a True Dungeon 2. I don't know why they get their- that- I don't know why they get to replace, like, whole floors. Like, whole shops. It's dumb. Please. Yes! Balrog is now my friend. I think that is everything except... Oh, no, that is everything. Oh, one flan. I think we're missing a couple dragons that I haven't fought yet. Those are probably only in the, um, post-game dungeon something. Where's the freaking dragons? Oh, here it is. Two dragons, for some reason. I'm seeing the water and air dragons, oddly enough. Maybe those will be in their own... Probably in the post-game dungeon somewhere. Oh, I'm so hungry, I'm getting weak. Oops. Let me eat these greens. I got this cool saddle. The um, There's a saddle effect that makes it... Um, I think you use like half as much energy. So you really rarely have to worry about your uh, stuff. <laughs> I love the way blind works in this game, by the way. Um, not only does blind give a mischance for physical stuff, um, if they're not right in front of you, enemies will just walk right past you because they're blind. And also, they will miscast their spells, and they will cast beneficial stuff on you instead of themselves. It's hilarious. Oh, no, not barrier, no. Barrier makes them immune to physical, I'm not gonna bother with that. We might take a quick peek around, um, just because this will probably, maybe, go pretty fast. Um, I'll probably poke around in one of the post-game dungeons. If you're stealing my speed jerk, but... I don't really like the enemies still drop buddy points after you have fully befriended them. Like, there's no need for those. They don't do anything anymore. Hey, son. Um, rugged color. I have the ribbon color, so I don't really need anything. Dual trap! I'm kind of excited to see what we got here. Oh. Oh. That's possibly concerning. Um... Oh crap, that's not the way I wanted to walk. I kinda wanted to walk this way. Oh no! Oh, come on. Uh... Where's my shell book? This guy has meteor because it's a comet, obviously. Oh! Oh. Not a big deal. Is chat not displaying this time? Oh! Oops, sorry about that. Oh yeah, I was doing something else. I was doing a regular recording, so I had chat off. Sorry about that. That's too much this goes to you. Nice. No fears from the dual traps here anymore. Huh. He didn't even try to get a final meteor off. The Bahamuts look a little weird in this one. I kind of like the cartoony Bahamuts from Dungeon 2. I'm a huge fan of Chocobo Dungeon 2 and the, um... The Chocobo, um cart game on PS1. Actually really good. I like the items a lot better. I found them a lot more fun and the character skills. 
than Mario Kart. Ooh! There we go, max SP. Um... I guess I might, oh. Whatevs. Um, yeah. Ready to go. I think Mario Kart 64 had better maps, but I, I enjoyed Chocobo's racing better. Didn't expect to see you here. Stay back! Chocobo, please! I don't want to hurt you! So yeah, our baby like boy turned into evil edgelord twig. Really so obsessed with your so-called friends. Can't hold I actually really like the story, and it got pretty dark. It was like... It turned like Kingdom Hearts. It was a bit too long to show you all of it. Guardian beast of darkness and destroyer of this world. Witness the power of the void. Oh yeah, baby stops being a baby pretty early. Actually, I'm kind of surprised we ju we stopped like just short. Hey, hey, I didn't get to do anything. That's hacks. Oh man. Nothing personnel, In kid. The end, that's all you had. Farewell, light of the world. Soon, the planets will be enveloped in darkness. Now, I will drag everything into the darkness. See, I, re I wasn't I wasn't kidding about the Kingdom Hearts shit. Memories. So, in fact, I should give like a quick recap. Um, Raffaello was kind of sealed away. And everyone, the town, the reason the town, like, has the Oblivion Bell and stuff um, was for a good reason. They were trying to seal away this guy. And, um, <laughs> kills you in a cutscene. Classic stuff. Um, but yeah. Is that Chocobo? So everyone sealed away their memories to prevent this from happening. And we, being the stupid little bird that we are... We went and restored everyone's memories and kind of doomed the world. And in fact, all the NPCs are super, like, dreary and stuff. I tweeted this a while ago. Um, let me find. There's this NPC that's like, Oh, have you heard? There's nothing to live for anymore. It's great. Uh, I know I have it here in my tweets somewhere. Here we go, here we go. Welcome to Let's Play Twitter. Ooh, ooh, have you heard? There's no more reason to live. I know it's true, I heard the rumor! <laughs> Thanks! Thanks, Hannah. Thanks, Lori. <laughs> and there's... Everyone at this point, at that point in the game, everyone you talk to has horrible memories of someone that died during the time that Raffaello was born. Um, and they're so dramatic, the game actually gives you an option to not hear them. <laughs> At first, I was like, "Why? Why is there an option to just say no?" You're still no? fighting, ain't ya? You got this, Chocobo. And everyone—it's just so we sad. We believe in you, Chocobo. And then We're Kingdom Hearts boss all happens. Our memories to you. But it's about memories instead of hearts. The power of the fire crystal to stoke the flames of your courage. You gotta fight Gigas, guys. The power of the water crystal to wash away all obstacles. I feel so bad for Meja, she's like, I like her design a lot, but her buddy skill is useless and her stats are nothing special. I brought her once. The power of the light crystal to shine through the darkness! Though honestly, the buddies only have one skill, and generally not many other important attributes, so... There's pretty much always a pretty clear, superior option. There's only maybe five buddies you really need to try around. Though the bosses, the bosses are really good, but the bosses you don't get without grinding for. So I haven't bothered to get any of the bosses yet. All right, place your bets. How many final? How many forms is the final boss gonna have? Oh my gosh! This track. Uh, let me move chat over. 
<laughs> Oracles sticking their noses where they don't belong. You gotta love Battle Shogun. of the Big Bridge. Thank goodness. I can feel everyone before I become completely evil. Please, destroy me! Idiots! You realize what that means, don't you? Don't you? So on the eShop, you can pay two pounds to get a buddy with one of the jobs. Quick! Um, you certainly don't need them by any means. Um, basically you get a buddy that has the level seven, I believe, skill of each thing. And they still only have one skill. Um, and you do get one Chocobo buddy free you get Ace, but he doesn't have a level seven skill. But early on, he's fine. How did this guy freaking destroy me in that cutscene? I, I wouldn't say they're necessary by any means. If you want to get them, I mean it's not that expensive, but... Okay, let's actually remember to heal. Wait, what? Oh no, because I have haste. Dang! Yeah, if you bother to get the Irma Talons and stuff... You can be pretty OP here. Hey. <laughs> that was a crit, but still. Oh my god. <laughs> you really can do the nothing personnel kid thing. Yeah, I don't think they're necessarily the best partners even, so... Unless you just really want to do it, I will personally do it, and didn't. Fiello's heart is resisting. Kick him in the nuts. Incoming form number two? Probably. Second form? Oh, <laughs> of course. Of course it's second form. Who am I kidding? Yeah, I played it for just a little bit on Wii, but I, it really took me through the, um... I had to beat the fire dungeon to get really hooked. Your options are fairly limited before that. He even looks... He looks, if anything, edgier than... Oh, no. He's got options. He looks like an edgier version of a um, Kingdom Hearts boss. That looks like it hurts. It's a spooky moth. That's enough of your striptease there, buddy. This is a Christian stream. Alright. I, I will eliminate everything. I will return all things to darkness. Slow down there, Necron. The time of darkness has come. I am the god of destruction. You gotta have one of these. You gotta have one of these in Final Fantasy game. The voice work! The Destroyer. Oh hey, full heal. Thanks. Oh, I just wasted... <laughs> I just wasted a heal then. Oh well. The voice work in the game, perhaps not the best. Um... Oh, they're just running in place is how you speed up. Jeez. 
This guy doesn't have a chance. The items I have are almost the best weapons in the game. Um, I think there's one better, but they only drop from the super bosses. And if you fought a super boss since Final Fantasy X, um, you probably know that's not a very good idea. The destroyer uses anxiety. Me too, buddy. Me too. Sounds like a Dramora. Kind of, excuse me. Kind of does. He's hitting me with like clock hands. Stop that. He's clock blocking me. I don't even need to use these magic sites. I guess I'll save them for some crazy super boss. Stuper boss. <laughs> He's got a skill called anxiety that makes him run away. Big mood. Flummox? Destroyer's heart is resisting. I hope this isn't like a thing where I get a bad end if I beat him up and I'm supposed to like let him like see the power of love. I think it's just like a free turn. I'm gonna risk it for the brisket. Oh, I figured. Pfft. The chocobo kick cracks me up because, like, you send, like, you send a physical, like, manifestation of your foot rather than just kicking. Pfft. I had Ken's the green haired dude doing anxiety. I mean, the green dead dude is still in there. He's the one resisting. 20 damage. So, yeah, while I am crazy powerful now, I, it's mostly downhill from here in terms of, like, relative strength, because... I think there's only maybe a couple pieces of equipment stronger than this, and I think they are... This is to put it in context, Satan in, in the Discord, um, Satan has everything, like, everything maxed out, highest level, all of the jobs maxed, um, almost all of the buddies. Ow. That actually kind of hurt, excuse you. Um, but has not gotten all of the best equipment just because it is that nuts. I think I missed... Oh. Oops. Awkward. How embarrassing. Alright, not gonna miss this time. <laughs> 999. Yeah, unfortunately damage maxes out at 999, and most... Well, all losses at this point have more than that, so... Yeah. In fact, I think the Reaper Mock has 99999, you know, 9000 plus HP, and insane defenses and stuff. Are you still charging up a thing? Oh no. We got this. Alright, is this the final form though? That is the question. Big I can't I can't freaking see! That's his that's his strongest power that I can't see where he, where I am because of his big arm meets. Oh wow. I think that... Oh no, it doesn't fit your HP in half. Honestly, he put up more of a fight than I thought. This would have been pretty dang tough. Were I not insanely overpowered. If he gets much bigger, he won't fit on screen. Sometimes the final form is like human-sized, though. Sometimes they go like regular, big monster, and then like really edgy human-sized. So, we'll see. Flew up in the air. Alright, 
Is it two or three? It took me like five times longer as a kid to beat Chocobo's Dungeon 2. This game does have some really good grinding dungeons. Chocobo's Dungeon 2, you really just have to play the next dungeon to grind. There's no real grinding dungeons. Breathing heavily in villain. Oh, we're showing some thigh there. That's inappropriate. You doing okay, buddy? Oh, for number three? Are you good? It's the chocobo. I don't feel so good. Looking pretty toast. I'm interested in the super bosses, but I. <sighs> Mystery dungeon games can be pretty brutal in that regards. Uh, he's. When they turn to sand, that's usually about as far as you go. I hate sand! This course this is rough! The sheer absurdity of that scene, like, it's funny to make fun of himself, but like, he's like confessing his love to her, to Padme, and he's like, I hate sand. I really hate sand. And she's like, oh, Anakin, have my baby. He's like, sand. Sand. It's ridiculous. I would love to do a cursed content of watching the prequels, but like Disney would like eat my family. It's falling apart. <laughs> so many good music choices. That's where we were, by the way. I guess you didn't really get to see the whole. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> kind of an anticlimactic explosion, but hey, side game. They do the best with what they got. I do wonder how the Japanese voicing is. I don't believe there's an option for that. But yeah, Japanese games usually have like way higher budgets for the voicing stuff, so that's why it usually seems like the dubs are really bad. We fixed the world! All the puzzle pieces fell on the floor. I am not putting that back together. Is the water gonna get less scummy? Nah, the water is just always scummy. <laughs> Look at all them jiggies! Go on! <laughs> I love that the Y's in everybody, by the way, are chocobo feet. I didn't notice that at first. This has gotta be Christina V somewhere. Any localized game has to be Christina V. Somewhere. In fact, there's that one Compile Heart dungeon game that is like... It isn't. It isn't all Christina V, but it sounds like nine Christina V's doing Compass voice. I don't know how that happened. I'm sure there's some kind of post credit scene. I want to get another drink, but it, I know it's going to drop some stuff on me any moment. just watch them without streaming I guess like just in like a discord channel or something but like that's not as I don't know how do you do that what we should really watch is those um frick was it red letter media that did those reviews that are like three times longer than the movies themselves <laughs> Watch that for like a nice 12 hour stream. I guess I've done a 12 hour stream, but I wouldn't subject myself to that in particular. I mean, I've heard there's ways of doing things that, that certain streamers do, but I don't know if I'd bother with that.
copyright stuff has gotten less nuts, but probably still... I'm, I'm sure Disney movies is still very much not... <laughs> not even worth trying. There's them accountants. Thank you, accountants. I don't know, Netflix, so there's a cool plugin called Netflix Together that lets you watch Netflix to sync with a party. Oh! That would be cool. Um, but the Disney live streaming service just launched, so I would say that they are probably not on that. Hang on. Just holler if the, if the post credit scene happens. I just need to get a real couch, I guess, really, but I was waiting to buy new furniture until the house was done, and that didn't happen as fast as it should have. Yeah, I'm sure they're on Didney Live, or whatever it's called. Alright, so next up is Manifold Garden. I'll probably poke around and like look at one of the post-game things. Kind of weird to just show you the very ending and very beginning of a game, but, you know, it would be a bit too long to stream all of it, and I figured I would stream at least a little bit of the ending. I mean, what what to stream if not end and beginning, but... Oh, this rotten strawberry is falling out of the sky with me. Incoming! Man, I wish I was a bird. Oh. I wish I was a bird that could fly! Thanks, autopilot, apparently? Question mark? Oh yeah, Chocobo just deadass kicked um, Sid into the water and stole his airship. That was pretty cool, you missed that. <laughs> he just wanted to do it on his own, I guess. Whoa. Suddenly, darkness. That was weird. What's up, guys? I lived, bitch. What's up, guys? <laughs> oh, I think my switch was like trying to fall asleep. That's, that's all he has to say. Whoa! <laughs> Aww. Chocobo! <laughs> it's like, let go of my beak, lady. Press Y to quit. What's up? Buddy! You made it! Oh! Chocobo! You did it, Chocobo! You saved everybody! Uh, who are you guys? Oops. <laughs> Just off screen. What? He's alive! Oh, and the black mage there, without a hat now. Sis? That's, uh, Chroma. obviously, it's your sister. You? Sherma. I don't know why she's yellow. Everyone. I'm sorry. Once I realized. Forget it. Everyone's happy, right? So what does it matter? It's thanks to you two that we got these memories back. Memories we got to hold dear. Without all of you, we'd still be living in limbo. Forgetting. The guy in the glasses in the background looking like a serial killer. And it's thanks to Chocobo that Sis could come back. Gear, gear, gear. Oh no! The bell! Jesus Simpson. Race Simpson. The bell is cured. Oh, you know. The bell of oblivion! No. I don't think that's what it is anymore. This Jeez. bell rings for the memories of the past and the new future ahead. It's the bell of evocation now. It's just a bell, dude. It doesn't have to be a bell of things. 
you know, the game actually did a really cool, like, flashback thing, and you kind of realize that, oh, hey, Raffaello is the bad guy? And then the game kind of spoils it almost immediately by Raffaello having him thoughts like, hmm, hmm. And I think they could have, like, spaced that out a little bit and let you think on it. I like when games kind of give you all the hints, but they don't really rub your face in it until a little bit later. But you feel smart. It seems that Raffaello also fought his hardest against the Destroyer. Mamba the Chocobo. Until now, this town Bell of has hourly always noise lost making. time. But from now on, we will carve it out ourselves. Thank you so very much. You saved our time. I wonder how many total Chocobo Your remixes heroes. there are. There's dozens at the very least. <laughs> Called a hero to your face is kind of embarrassing. Is that sex? There's at least 12, I think, just from the main Final Fantasy series alone. There's like three or f there's like at least four in this game alone. Um, there's several other from other Chocobo games. And thus, <laughs> that's right, Parker. In honor of and heartfelt gratitude to our yes, dear hello. friend Chocobo. We Statue! Ah. This I paid off my loan, guys! I was the first to pay off my loan. Whoa, that's really sharp. It is really sharp. How many polygons are in that boy? Uh, so where's mine? <laughs> Get wrecked. Uh, yeah. Sadly, we ran low on materials. But your name's on it, see? Who, where? Let me see. In honor of the hero Chocobo and his partner Sid. Sid? Just partner? Sheesh. He's got the trumpet gun from um uh, from Dark Cloud 2. I guess that makes it less like a gun, so it's okay to have your kids see it. Which is not over yet. Of course it isn't. Just six pages a new story. Oh, there's more story too? Feathery hero, Roach of Memory Shimmers. It's cleaning his claws over here. Parker is. Oh, Chocobo! Chocobo? The bulb has a memory thing. Um. I should stuff some crap into the uh, vault first. <laughs> Parker just came up onto my desk to like lick and bite at his claws and then immediately left. Thanks, buddy. Just count things. Hello, Joe. Don't need to. No, I don't want that. I'll just save the magic sites just in case. Uh, all this other stuff is just like whatever. Hello, Joe. Was that handsome edgelord bird? That's Volg. Um, I think we saw him briefly in the intro, in the first thing. Yeah, he can be your buddy. Him and Irma. In fact, let me show you Irma. From... Were they in the first game? Or was that just in the um, DS game? That's the one I remember. I want Volg to be partner. Look how freaking much bigger than, he, than, than me he is. He's like twice my size. Um, but yeah, his dungeon's kind of hard. So we'll, we'll do that later. And it's not merely something that I can power level my way through, because it's like a max level. And I don't get my gear. I'm sure there's a strategy to it though. Oh, 99. Oh, I guess it's just like the first, uh, there's like a 99 level dungeon in the first Chocobo's dungeon. Oh, hey, it's got a stair thingy though. Uh, let's go with Irma. really good for dealing damage. She doesn't have haste, though. Like pearls. There's more remixes of Chocobo's theme than Mario's theme. I mean, only including official ones? They'd probably be in close concert. A lot of Mario stuff. Oh, hey, Flan Shade. Oh, wait, is everything just a shade here? Oh, this is easier than I thought it would be. Irma is Big Titty Goth GF. 
that has big X. That was in the DS game. Yeah. She had more of a kind of like a jester outfit in that, I think. Pit trap. Curious to see what the new store and stuff is, but... I'm gonna drop a bookmark here, and we're gonna play more, um, Manifold Garden, hopefully finish that up. That's what he is one more time here. I love that the, um, the dropping of the letters is synced to the music. Alright, Manifold Garden time here. Tap tap here! If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.